NBC's medical drama New Amsterdam is all about seeing real life situations playing out through the characters. In order to make that happen, the director and producer of the show and the lead actor tour, uh, they actually tour across the country to engage in what's called talkbacks with their audience. They were scheduled to come right here to Idaho, to Cary, Idaho, in fact, back in March. We were going to be a part of all that, but then the pandemic hit and everything changed. Peter and Ryan, always good to see you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us, as always, here on Idaho Today. But let's talk again and remind everybody about New Amsterdam, what makes this show so darn unique, because it's different, the process that you go through. You like to integrate these life experiences into the storytelling. Peter, fill us in really quick on those talkbacks that you do. Uh, the talkback tour um, is something that is our attempt um, as, as writers and producers and actors, everybody, frankly, on our show to to spread our net wide in terms of our sense of the kinds of stories we want to tell and the perspectives we want to represent. Um, we realized early on that since we're all from the, you know, Hollywood blue bubble, that we really needed to reach out to make sure we were um, aware of and listening to and sensitive to all perspectives. And so we take these, what we're calling talkback tours, which is basically Ryan and I with an episode under our arms going to different parts of the country and showing the, 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 the <laughs> and watches up our wrists. Um, and we basically show an episode and then we, um, then we come out and, you know, answer questions, but mainly ask questions. And we really want to hear people's stories. We want to hear what they're struggling with. How, and, and also hear what they think of our show. What are we getting right? What are we getting wrong? How can we um, be help. representative of everybody? What's that? Help. There's a, how can we help? You were this close. How can, we, how can we? What's the word? What's the word? Yeah, we were just weeks away having you guys come here, but then close. COVID happened. Uh, but speaking of this pandemic, I mean, I know it's really thrown a big curveball in there for everyone. Uh, production for the show right now currently not happening. But how are you both handling uh, this current situation, Ryan? I'm, I'm noticing your hair. Your hair is quite quite longer than I remember seeing on the show. I've just been growing hair. That's all I've been doing for months in quarantine, is just sitting here growing it, just looking at it in the mirror, willing it to grow. Uh, done a good yeah. job. You've worked really hard and done a good job. Thanks, man. Thanks. I, I, you know, a lot of people are, you know, accomplishing things or, or helping their families. I've just been growing, growing the hair. You know, growing hair. Just as important, just as important <laughs> as frontline workers. And yeah, and, and losing my mind doing those two things and, and speaking of the pandemic too and having this opportunity to already talk to those on the front lines uh clearly ryan and you already had deep respect for those working in the medical industry but i imagine the current situation has probably fed that even more has your perspective changed as you're learning more well yeah ryan you you guys have done some amazing stuff for people at bellevue um i, I know you guys have done some psas for them um you know, Jocko we even sent out did pizza night on nurses, nurse, you know, National Nurses Day in the middle of the of the pandemic. Um, so they've been able. To, you can speak to that if you want to, Ryan. Um, yeah, sure. Well, the only only thing I would say is that you know I think, think that healthcare was brought to the forefront of our social conscious in a way that it hasn't been uh, in a while, which uh, makes the show for me more relevant. Uh, uh, not to glorify the show, but to honor these uh, men and women who are on the front lines, who are saving people's lives and who are uh, losing, not sleeping and working their um, high knees off, I'll say, for a, a general audience um, to um, get people the care they need, to figure out treatment, to understand this new virus, to fight political battles, to get that crap out of the way, to actually help people. And so um, I'm excited to see Peter and David and everybody come up with the way that we reflect those real life individuals and those real stories and it just makes the job more exciting. And really quick, both of you, uh, for those healthcare workers that are watching right now, uh, what message do you have for them? But my message to them is, is pay no attention to the politics and to all this silliness that's swirling around you. Um, we get it we see what you're going through 
we are there for you 100%, even in the midst of all this political um, nonsense. Basically, what you're doing is appreciated, loved, um, and will be looked on so fondly by history um, and is being looked on so fondly right now by all of us. So thank you. Mm. Well said, Peter. Ryan, what are you going to say? Absolutely. I mean, I, I would just say uh, there are so many heroes that go unnoticed on a daily basis uh, that are touching so many lives and, and uh, helping people and um, saving somebody's sister or mother or whatever, whomever it may be. And, um, and you don't get enough credit. So thank you. Thank you for, for all the amazing work you're doing. Wonderful. Yep. And gentlemen, if our viewers want to see some episodes of New Amsterdam, they can now on Peacock, right? Peacock. Peacock's the key. Peacock is the new Hulu. Peacock is the new Disney Hulu Plus. <laughs> Hulu. Yeah, the Netflix. It's the greatest. Check it out. Good. It's, it's actually pretty great. And it's easy to, easy and to find. Easy to... And, and my hair is much shorter on Peacock. So you, know, you, don't, you won't have to see this. It'll be a much more kempt version. It's much, it's much better program. And uh, b before we wrap here really quick, Ryan, uh, give us a beauty tip for your long locks. <laughs> sure. What you want to do is you want to take just a hint of Vaseline with a little bit of oregano oil and just sprinkle it. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> I, my hair has never, never been this long. I don't know what to do with it. As you can see, I look like a, a, a hippie as Peter, I think, lovingly called me. Lovingly. Earlier. Lovingly. Yeah. I, I, I miss those hippies. I really miss them. And I think... I think the oregano came because because your hair is long enough so you can actually taste it. <laughs> there you go. And just a little peppermint really does the trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll call it pandemic chic. How about that? Ah, I like it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay.